In March, the Netherlands joined the countries in rejecting medical supplies made in China. The Dutch health ministry was forced to recall 600,000 face masks from the hospitals. Their statement said the masks shipped from China had a KN95 certificate, but they did not meet quality standards. China's foreign ministry spokesperson reacted the following week. She claimed the Netherlands had ordered the wrong masks, saying they're not for surgical use, stating the Chinese manufacturer informed the Netherlands before the masks were sent. The Dutch government did not respond publicly until China's premier had a phone call with the Dutch prime minister in the same week. Prime Minister Mark Rutte said he thanked China for its, quote, solidarity and all the support it provides with high-quality medical equipment. It's not the first time the Netherlands has displayed an ambivalent attitude towards China. The Dutch government has been struggling with how to deal with China and still is. In 2019, Dutch security agency AIVD warned the Netherlands' high-tech sector about corporate espionage by the CCP. In the same year, Chinese-founded U.S. tech firm Ixtal was found guilty of stealing IP from Dutch company ASML, resulting in hundreds of millions of dollars in losses. ASML is the world's leading manufacturer of chip-making equipment, and China is an important market for them. The incident in 2015 involved two former Chinese employees from ASML. After leaving ASML, they co-founded a competitor company called Ixtal, based in California. A year after Ixtal was founded, it started luring away ASML's clients, including Samsung. Ixtal's parent company is based in Beijing. According to research from Dutch newspaper Financiel Dagblad, the Chinese ministry had given subsidies to the parent company. The subsidies were meant for a project to boost China's position in the chip machinery market, of which ASML is the current market leader. The ASML case increased widespread public concern about using technology from mainland China. The Dutch House of Representatives immediately called on the government to ban Huawei equipment in the construction of its 5G networks. The U.S. ambassador to the Netherlands had repeatedly warned about Huawei's security risks, but in April of the same year, the Royal Dutch Telecom provider KPN still decided to collaborate with Huawei, saying it will only use Huawei in non-critical parts of the network. While debate continued in the House of Representatives, the Dutch government released a China strategy the next month. They said the strategy adopted a constructive and critical position on China in terms of security and technology, but it did not state its position on Huawei's participation. When the reporter asked the Dutch Minister of Foreign Affairs why Huawei wasn't mentioned, Minister Steph Block said, It makes sense not to advertise for any company in a strategy. The Netherlands has been China's second largest trade partner within the EU for most of the past 17 years. China often calls the Netherlands the portal to Europe. Because the Dutch hold the largest seaport in Europe and third largest airport in terms of cargo transportation, the Netherlands became an important location for China's Belt and Road Initiative. In 2016, the Chengdu Tilburg Rotterdam Express was officially opened as part of China's massive infrastructure Belt and Road Initiative. Partnered with Dutch company GVT Group of Logistics, it became the fastest and only direct freight railway from China to the Netherlands, connecting Tilburg, the logistic portal in Nord Brabant, to Rotterdam to China several times a week. Together with the Belt and Road Initiative, China's largest state-owned shipping and logistics company slowly took over Europe. China Costco Shipping is a major investor in European container terminals. It has stakes in container terminals in the Netherlands, Belgium, Spain, Italy and Greece. In 2016, China's Costco Pacific bought a 35% stake in Rotterdam's Euromax container terminal for $143 million. The Belt and Road Initiative has opened a pathway to China but also brought the Dutch an increasing trade deficit. Local media reported in 2018 that all containers from China were full, but containers to China were only filled about 40 percent. Statistics from Netherlands CBS show that, from 2016 to 2018, Dutch exports to China grew from $11 billion to $13 billion, while imports from China grew from $38 billion to $42 billion, causing a deficit growth of about 20 percent. Following the Tilburg Express, Dutch logistics company Neuler opened a new freight route in 2018 from Amsterdam to China's Zhejiang province. A transportation consultant said in an interview with Dutch radio and television broadcaster Evrotos that there are also drawbacks to the Belt and Road Initiative, that it will give China even more economic and political power.
dat je sterk ziet dat dit een Chinees. You have to comply with Chinese rules and Chinese law. The highest authority being the court in Beijing. These are different rules than we are used to with free trade in the West after World War II. Met het Westen gedaan hebben. The China-Dutch relation is especially important for the Netherlands consumer market. The Netherlands-China strategy says the Dutch government has been naive towards China in terms of trade. The country is trying to find a new balance in Sino-Dutch relations and hopes China will become an important customer. Western countries are starting to reassess their ties with the CCP since the virus spread throughout the world, not only rethinking trade but also the frailty of human life. Meanwhile, Beijing is trying to leverage its trade relations to gain dominance in the world. Though the Netherlands, with a population of 17 million, has one of the highest death rates from the CCP virus, parliamentary debates have not emphasized holding China accountable. Yet, since the outbreak, the Netherlands' relationship with the regime has been changing. As of today, our office name into Nellens Office Taipei. On April 28th, the Dutch delegation in Taiwan changed its name from Netherlands Trade and Investment Office to Netherlands Office Taipei, which is Taiwan's capital city. The same day, China's ambassador to the Netherlands sent out a solemn reminder to the Dutch government, warning about issues in adhering to the One China principle, saying the new name will hurt Sino-Dutch relations. China's foreign ministry also requested the Netherlands strictly abide by the One China principle, correct wrong practices, and take concrete actions to safeguard the overall situation of bilateral relations. Since then, China has been threatening to withhold medical supplies from the Netherlands. A Dutch researcher from the Klingendale China Center says, although the Netherlands depends on China for medical devices in the fight against the virus, it will not be beneficial for China to argue, while it is already taking a lot of criticism as a result of how the regime has handled the virus crisis. Reporting by Xu Wenrong, NTD News.